This is the case of the mushroom head pred. Hernando County Sheriff's Office investigation into a tip regarding possession of child sexual abuse material has led to the arrest of Alexandra Medina, 23-year-old, this chomo right here. Detectives obtained a search warrant for Medina's online accounts and they found two files of child sexual abuse material, otherwise known as CSAM. Medina admitted to detectives to owning the social media account and viewing and possessing the CSAM during an interview at his house in Stanton Avenue in Spring Hill. Medina was arrested for possession of child sexual abuse material, three counts, possession of a sexual performance by a child to intent to promote and unlawful use of a two-way uh, communication device. The way they worded this is something else. They could have just said, hey, you're a chomo, here's X amount of years, right? I wish. Anyways, his total bond amount was set for 45 grand for all five counts against him. And uh, last we've checked, he's been in jail, what, two days now? I don't think he's getting out until his court date. See ya, chomo. Alabama. An Opelika man was arrested on 10 separate child sexual abuse material charges. According to officials, on May 16th, the Lee County Sheriff's Office received information about possible voyeurism in child sexual abuse material. Lee County investigators then obtained enough evidence to generate a search. Uh, it's got a search warrant for a residence located in the 700 block of Rosalind Street in Opelika. The search warrant was executed at approximately 4 o'clock on May 16th, where 37-year-old Robert Cameron Hansbarger was taken into custody. Multiple electronic devices were recovered from the residence, including a cell phone. Investigators located multiple images from Hansbarger's phone depicting juvenile females that are to, appear to be well under the age of 18. Now get in there! Set over to North Carolina, a Greenville chomo has been charged with a child sex crime. Pitt County deputies today arrested Euclid Mello. A 51-year-old man has been charged with felony indecent liberties with a minor. The deputies there say that back on March 13th, they received a report of a child abuse sexual act involving a man. And after his arrest, Mello was jailed on a $25,000 secured bond. They say that other charges are pending, just haven't been brought out yet. Nah, eh, go figure. You got one charge, you got a thousand. Right, Chomo? Indiana. A Fisher's man was arrested for molesting a child under the age of 14. David A. Brinley, a 47-year-old, was charged with child molesting, fondling or touching with a child under the age of 14 as well. The crimes happened uh, were reported to the Department of Child Services back on April 30th. And after speaking with the police, the minor victim stated that the assaults took place more than 10 times. Officers spoke with Brinley on May 2nd, and during the interview he said, I went to kiss her cheek at the same time she moved but that was a loving and enduring kiss. But I know that is all made up. After agreeing to take a polygraph, just nine minutes later, Brinley stated, excuse me, Brinley stated, I call him Grimley, that he would not take that polygraph. Rescinding liar. Well, anyways, information will be updated to this story as it becomes available. You'll be able to hear it right here on the Sex Offender Hit List. And now we'll head down to Texas. The Camp County Sheriff's Office said a 37-year-old man has been arrested for possession of child sexual abuse material. Sheriff John Cortelyu said a search warrant was obtained for Christopher Joseph Digere's residence. Cortelyu said Digere is a registered sex offender. I mean, look at him, right? I can tell. Well, sometimes you can't, but this fool... But anyways, during a non-custodial interrogation, which if you don't know what that is, it's a type of police questioning where the individual is not in police custody, makes the suspect feel a little bit, you know, warm, more easily uh, approached, whatever. They said that uh, Diger admitted 
during that uh, interrogation to possession of child sexual abuse material on his cell phone and showed the officer's files containing it. What a nice guy. The sheriff's office said in a release that they've obtained his computer and equipment and his cell phone and locked his butt up. Yep, you're in jail now, Chomo. We got our eyes on you. And when you go to court, we'll be there following you. And you'll be next on the sex offender hit list. See ya, Chomo! A former Fort Carson soldier was sentenced to five years of sex offender intensive supervised probation on Thursday. Joseph Smith, a 26-year-old, was arrested at his house for alleged possession and distribution of child sexual abuse material. Fountain Police searched Smith's house January 12th after a tip from the Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force. Evidence recovered during that search helped detectives obtain a search warrant for Smith's arrest. Court records show that Smith pled guilty to one count of sexual exploitation of a child in January. And at Smith's sentencing hearing on Thursday, Judge Francis Johnson stated that the plea agreement included five years of sex offender intensive supervised probation with no jail sentence. Smith gave a brief statement to the court before Johnson issued that sentence. He said that he holds an immense amount of regret for his actions and that he has since gone through extensive therapy to cure his pornography addiction. Well, it's not cured because there is no cure. The two counts of class 3 felony sexual exploitation of a minor were dismissed as part of that plea agreement. I'm pretty unsatisfied with that because we know what's going to happen here. He'll get caught again. I'd like to know what dirty stool pigeon squealed on me. The main owner of a popular Milwaukee restaurant once convicted of traveling to meet a minor for sex remains in the Broward County Jail in Florida Friday after federal authorities arrested him at a Hollywood hotel earlier in the week for more child sex crimes. Stelio Calcanos is the managing partner of the upscale 5 o'clock steakhouse in Wisconsin's largest city, according to multiple media reports. According to federal court documents, in 2006 he pled guilty to and was given a 46-month sentence for a federal charge of traveling in interstate commerce for the purpose of engaging in a sexual act with a minor. He was required to register as a sex offender. Calcanos, the 51-year-old, appeared in Fort Lauderdale's federal court on Thursday following his latest arrest the day prior. He's now accused of sex trafficking a minor and producing child sexual abuse material. Federal authorities allege he recruited, enticed, and obtained a minor knowing she would be caused to engage in commercial sex acts and on November 20th of last year used the minor to engage in sexually explicit conduct for the purpose of producing a visual depiction of such conduct, meaning he knew full well she was a minor, he took advantage of her, um, had some type of sexual relations with her and filmed it. A U.S. Department of Justice news release doesn't state which hotel that Kokanos was staying in, but through a little connivery we were able to figure it out. Um, and thanks to the uh, Seminole Police Department for assisting, you see the tribe's officers there are responsible for patrolling the uh, Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, which is the only one in that jurisdiction. So it kind of boils it down. He's set to remain held in the Paul Rain Detention Facility in Papano Beach until his extradition to Wisconsin, where he's uh, set to be tried in Madison Federal Court. Nice. Authorities said Kalkanos could spend the rest of his life in federal prison for his recent crimes. See ya, Chomo! Back down to Florida. Pinellas County Sheriff's Office deputies arrested a Palm Harbor man on several child sexual abuse material charges Thursday. Detectives with the Crimes Against Children's Unit arrested 29-year-old Carl George III through various investigation techniques, the Sheriff's Office said in a news release. The investigation began after the CAC received information that child sexual abuse material was being accessed and stored on the Internet. 
Deputies said George possessed videos of children between the ages of 5 and 11 years old. Another video depicted a woman performing a sexual act on a live snake. Uh, come on, people. George is charged with seven counts of possessing child sexual abuse material, five counts of transmission of child sexual abuse material, and one count of sexual activity involving animals. He's currently booked in the Pinellas County Jail with no bond, and the investigation into George's full activity is still ongoing. Son of a gun looks like a snake, don't he? See ya, chomo. I'm gonna give you solitary confinement for 99 years. A guy from Zionsville has been charged with touching a child inappropriately earlier this month at an event. The charges against 51-year-old Jeffrey Alexander were brought in Boone County Court on Monday. They include one count of child molesting, where the defendant is at least 21 years or older, which is a level one felony. For this, Alexander told police that he'd been convicted of child molestation in Montgomery County when he was 18 years old for an incident with a kid. Court papers said Alexander touched a minor inappropriately on May 7th while she was staying at his home in Zionsville. The child told the cops that Alexander had touched her inappropriately more than once. She said it started when she was just 11 or 12 years old. The girl also told the cops that Alexander touched her inappropriately every time that she came over to his house. And she also said that Alexander made her touch him in a bad way. It was said that the child told her mother about what happened, and the mother called the Department of Child Services to start an investigation. Alexander told cops this is disgusting. He likes men and does not find women attractive. That's his excuse. When they asked him if he had touched the child inappropriately, Alexander said that the family members of the child were telling her to say those things. Alexander was given a bond of $80,000, which is a lot more than the usual amount, the court papers said. Alexander's pretrial meeting is set for July 17th, and a jury trial is set for September 3rd. A Springfield man was sentenced to 30 years in prison on May 17th for sexually assaulting a female victim under the age of 14 numerous times between September 1st of 2017 and April 30th of 2019. This is Gregory Crum, a 41-year-old, and he was found guilty of first-degree rape, first-degree statutory rape, first-degree sodomy, first-degree statutory sodomy, and the Class C felony of third-degree child molestation. Crum was convicted following a bench trial with Greene County Circuit Court Judge Jerry Harrison presiding in February. According to court documents, the juvenile victim disclosed in 2019 that Crum had forcefully held her down on several occasions and forced her to have sex with him. You disgusting, perverted chomo. 30 years. See ya, chomo. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. One for a rainbow, one for Amanda. Who are you playing with, sweetie? Amanda. Huh? Oh, who are you? I'm Amanda. I'm six. And I love unicorns. Sexual predators are seeking kids online. We don't know Amanda. Learn how to report abuse at n-violence.org slash protect. When a child experiences trauma, they can be stripped of their ability to imagine. But imagination, imagination is colors. All the colors. Imagination is freedom and whatever you want it to be. But a child without imagination is not a child at all. Will you help defend our right to imagine?